Welcome to Calibre. My name is Kovid Goyal. I am the creator of Calibre and I will be giving you a brief tour of its features. Calibre was designed to make managing your ebook collection as easy as possible. It can manage books, newspapers, magazines, comics, what have you. When you first start Calibre, you will be greeted by a welcome wizard. The first thing you need to do is to tell Calibre where you want it to store the books that it is managing. Uh, I will choose to create a new folder called Calibre Library and choose it. Now Calibre will store all the books that it manages within this folder. The next step is to tell Calibre what ebook device you use. As you can see, Calibre supports a large number of ebook devices from various manufacturers, for example, the Kindles from Amazon, the iPhone from Apple, the Cybook from Bookin, the B-Book from Endless Ideas, and so on. Uh, for this demo, we will be using the PRS700 from Sony. And that's it. Calibre is now conf configured. It will allow you to manage your ebook collection and interface with your ebook device. This is the main Calibre interface. Here you can add books, edit their meta information, convert them to different formats, send them to your ebook reader, etc. You can even read them on the computer. Calibre has its own built in ebook viewer that reads all the major ebook formats. In addition, you can even ask Calibre to go out on the internet and download news for you. You probably already have a collection of ebooks on your hard disk. They can be added to Calibre by clicking the Add Books button. So here I'm going to add just a single ebook, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Calibre can read metadata, that is titles and authors from a wide variety of formats. So here you see the book has been added with the correct title and author. However, ebooks often don't have the correct metadata or incomplete metadata. For example, here there's no publisher. Um, you can ask Calibre to download the metadata for you from the internet by clicking the arrow next to the Edit Meta Information button and selecting Download Metadata and Covers. Calibre will go out onto the internet and search the internet for meta metadata of your book. It uses the existing title and author to identify the book. So you see Calibre has found a publisher, some tags to help classify the book, as well as a new cover. You can see the, a, larger, a larger version of the cover as well as the complete metadata by clicking on the cover down here. It opens up in a separate window. You can see this is a nice uh, cover of Pride and Prejudice. In addition, there's a summary of the book that's useful for um, finding books when you have a large collection. Calibre has also found a bunch of tags that classify the book. Now, it sometimes happens that you don't like the metadata that Calibre downloads from the internet, in which case you can edit the metadata by clicking the Edit Metadata button. You see it opens up a separate dialog where you can edit all the metadata. So for example, here I don't like the tags that Calibre has downloaded. I just want one called Classic. So I can change that and click OK. And the tag has changed to Classic, as you can see here. Now I want to send Pride and Prejudice to my Sony reader so I can read it on the device. Whenever you connect your reader to the computer, Calibre automatically detects it and brings up a little icon here. By clicking on the icon, you can see a list of books on your device. Here you can change the metadata of the books, delete them, do whatever you like. In order to send a book to the device, all you need to do is click on the, click on the book and then click the Send to Device button. Now the book Pride and Prejudice is in a format that the Sony Reader does not like. However, Calibre knows this and can automatically convert the book to the Sony Reader format. So all you need to do is click Yes. Calibre automatically takes care of converting the book to the correct format. Here you can see that Calibre has started conversion of the book. You can click the rotating hourglass in the bottom right corner to see a list of what Calibre is doing. So right now it is converting the book, Pride and Prejudice. Once the conversion is finished, Calibre will automatically send the book to the device. Here you see that the book has been sent to the device. In this way, you see that Calibre makes it really easy to download books from the net, add them to Calibre and send them to whatever device you like without having to worry too much about ebook formats. Another very popular feature of Calibre is the ability to go to the internet and download news and convert it into an ebook. In order to do this, click the Fetch News button. When you do that, Calibre will present you with a list of languages. Choose your language and then you will be presented with a list of news sources. As you can see, Calibre has a lot of choices. Today let's download the New Yorker, a new, 
a, new, a weekly news magazine about New York. Now, Kadaba has the ability to schedule news downloads, so you can have it download news every day at a particular time or every X number of days. But for today, let's just download it now. As you can see, the download has started. Now, downloads typically take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Uh, while we wait for the download to complete, let's look at a previously downloaded news source, the New York Times Top Stories. Calibre has a built-in ebook viewer that allows you to view ebooks on your computer. You can access it by clicking the View button. When you do that, Calibre will open the ebook in its own built-in ebook viewer, which is capable of viewing all the major ebook formats. As you can see, this is the New York Times Top Stories. You can see a list of top stories with their summaries. You can choose a story that you want to read. So, for example, let's read about how Obama moves to reclaim the debate on health care. Here you can see the article has been downloaded with pictures and it's been nicely formatted in a format that's convenient to read both on your computer and on your ebook reader. Now the downloaded news has a table of contents so you can just browse the table of contents and decide which article you want to read. And you can choose an article that you want to read by just clicking on it and read the article. As you can see, this is a very convenient way to con consume your news every day. Now, Calibre's news downloading system is designed in a way that makes it easy for you to add your own news sources. In fact, a number of news sources in Calibre have been contributed by Calibre users. Now, as you can see, Calibre has about 225 news sources currently, and that number grows constantly. Finally, I'll talk a little bit about different ways to browse your collection of books. For example, you can browse by covers, by clicking the Browse by Covers button, Calibre brings up a view of the covers in your library. You can scroll through them as, as you see here. Another way to browse your collection is by tags. So if you click the Browse by Tags button, Calibre presents a view of your library based on authors, series, formats, publishers, news, and tags. So for example, if you want to uh, browse by authors, if you click Jane Austen, it will show you the books in your collection that are by Jane Austen. If you click W.E. Johns as well, it will show you the books in your collection that are by either Jane Austen or W.E. Johns, and so on. And the most interesting of these is the tags. Now, tags are something that you as a user can change. You can add arbitrary tags to any book. So, for example, if you want to add the tag, my tag, to this book, you can do that. And when you do that, in the tags collection, it will show up. There you go. So when you select that tag, only this book will be shown. You can use tags in this fashion to, to, to classify your books in an arbitrary way. That was the Calibre Grand Tour. If you've been listening so far, thank you for your patience. It's now time you went and started using Calibre.